Hey guys, welcome to the best bets for the two games on Friday. In this video, I'm going to go through three bets for tomorrow, two in the North Melbourne Carlton game, and then one in the Fremantle Adelaide game. It wasn't that long ago where we didn't even have AFL on Good Friday, and now we've got two games. So uh, we'll get into them. So firstly, the North Melbourne Carlton game. Uh, this matchup is very, very interesting. It's been well publicized like in the media and everything that Carlton have been winning games, winning them by small margins. And I do think they're going to win this game against uh, the Kangaroos, who, you know, obviously don't really win all that often. Uh, last week, they were leading until halfway through the third quarter against Fremantle. So we have seen a little bit of improvement uh, for them this season. And I think they can keep this game fairly close against Carlton. I don't think they're going to get completely blown out and lose by 50, 60, 70 points um, just because of the way they've played so far. Now, statistically wise, obviously Carlton is a long way ahead, but margin wise, I don't think they're quite deserving to be a 36 point favorite. The Lions at Carlton minus 35 currently, as I record this, I'm pretty sure. On that line, I'd be leaning towards North plus 35 and a half. However, I don't think North Melbourne's going to win that game. So for that reason, I'm taking Carlton to win by one to 39 points. So we're effectively getting $2.25. And if you can bet it with Dabble, I um, can't show that on the computer. It has the app only, but uh, they're giving you $2.35. So an extra 10 cents on Carlton, one to 39. But so we're getting an extra 35 to 45 cents for the sake of uh, North Melbourne not being able to win the game. But we're also getting an extra four points on the flip side to get it up to effectively 39 and a half. So... That's the play, or well, the first play for the North Melbourne Carlton game. I think uh, North Melbourne can keep this game close enough and keep the margin within 40 points. And then also in this game, uh, I think it's going to be a bit of a high disposal game. So if we look at the uh, disposal trends for these two sides, um, what we're going to do is a three a leg a multi. So first leg, we're taking uh, Luke Davies Uniac, 25 plus disposals. For North Melbourne, um, the two games so far this season, he's had uh, 29 and 30 touches. Uh, and we look back through last season, he's hit it uh, in his last eight games played. And then uh, majority games all over 20, but majority of them are 25 plus. Uh, the next leg we're going with Harry Sheasel, 25 plus disposals. Because if the ball is consistently in the um, back third for North Melbourne, then uh, Sheasel's definitely going to rack up the touches. Uh, opening two games this season, he's had 30-plus in both. Uh, either pretty much has 30-plus in the second half of last season or has complete nothing games with just the 15 touches. Uh, but over the past few, he's consistently been hitting over 30. So I think against Carlton, he can get 25-plus touches uh, for sure. And the third leg we're going for Carlton, Patrick Cribbs, 20-plus touches. Uh, his two games so far this season has 23 and 31, spending a lot of time, obviously, in the midfield, uh, leader of the Carlton midfield, and uh, against North Melbourne, who's the team that give up the most disposals to opposition, uh, I think he'll definitely get 20-plus touches. Obviously, could have added in another Carlton leg into that multi, just with they should be able to rack up the numbers, but with those three legs, it's paying $2.09. When I first put this in as the multi, it was $2.12, and then I accidentally hit the wrong button and it cleared it from the best slip. And then it came back up as $2.09. So see what you get when you put it in. Um, but it should be around that $2.09 set mark. Then the second game, uh, the later game over in Perth, Fremantle take on Adelaide. Fremantle 2-0 to start the season. Adelaide are 0-2. Uh, Fremantle played the Brisbane Lions in their opening game and then played North Melbourne last week. So kind of get a guide on North Melbourne uh, in the earlier matchup. But the way I'm playing this game, I'm going to take Adelaide plus 11 and a half points. So just under the two goal mark. I think the odds for this game should be a fair bit closer. Adelaide won the la latest matchup between these two sides, but they haven't met in Perth since 2018 uh, with Fremantle winning that game. Um, but I definitely think Adelaide can keep this close. Wouldn't be surprised if they were to win the game, but happy with them, plus 11 and a half. It's definitely an important game for them to be winning here. Can't really afford to start the season 0-3. And, 
Uh, last season, Adelaide were the number one attacking side. Obviously, I spoke about this in the other videos, but until um, every team's played four games, I use last season statistics just um, so then we don't get any outliers and it's accounting for a lot more games than just, you know, one or two, four teams. Um, but Adelaide were the number one attacking side. They have had uh, a game against Gold Coast in fairly tough conditions and a bit of a slow start in that game. And then last week against Geelong, uh, Geelong rolled over the top of them late. And so looking at this match, I think Fremantle's performances so far have been a little bit overvalued. Like Brisbane have started the season really like slowly. And as I'm recording this, the Brisbane Collingwood games just started and Brisbane have had another slow start in that game. So we'll see how they kind of perform later on. But Brisbane have had a little bit of a slow start and then North Melbourne leading that game, as I mentioned earlier, till midway through the third and then Fremantle rolled over the top in the last quarter. You know, that those performances don't really strike me as a team that are deserving to be a dollar fifty favorite, even though they're at home. So that's where I feel like, you know, even though Adelaide haven't won their games, um, they obviously were close against Gold Coast and had a slow start. And then um Geelong obviously are a good team and hard to beat at the best of time. So uh taking the crows plus eleven and a half, and then to quickly recap. Carlton, 1-39, 225 at Sportsbet, 235 at Dabble, and then the three-leg multi. Davies Uniac, 25+, plus, Sheasel, 25+, plus, and Patrick Cribbs, 20+. plus. Uh, so those are the three plays for AFL on Friday. They're posting another video for the bets for the Saturday games, and then another video for the Sunday games, and then uh, the Monday game with Hawthorne and Geelong. So make sure you're subscribed and so that you don't miss any of those videos. Uh, so you can continue following along. Uh, also, if you're interested, there's videos coming up for the NRL games this weekend as well. My bets for those matches. And if you bet on horse racing, we have racing on Friday, Saturday, and Monday this weekend. So uh, three days of racing over the past week in the racing show. We've made 19.96 units. And that's putting the bets on the day before and not like you don't have to sit there for eight hours in a day, you know, betting into every race or anything like that. It's normally 10 to 20 bets, depending on how many meetings are on certain days being Wednesdays and Saturdays for the most part, but obviously we have public holiday meetings this weekend. So over the past uh, week, we've done almost 20 units profit. Um, if, if you're betting $100 units and our maximum stake is only ever two units, then um if you're betting $100 units, you've made $1,996 just in the past week on the horse racing. And for the members who follow it uh, in the racing show, uh, pretty much takes them less than 15 minutes a week to follow along because they just see the bets and then go onto their account and put them on. And I also record videos like this, but going through those specific races and why I'm putting bets on that specific horse in a race. And I only have a back one horse in a race and I go through and pick out the races I'm most keen in betting on. And also the other benefit of it is by betting early, most of the time we're securing the best odds. Like just Wednesday just gone, there were multiple runners where we were sitting on $2.90 for a horse. And it was as they were starting the race, it was $2.10. Or we backed it early at $2.20 and then they were starting the race and it was $1.55. So you're getting it like double the payout. And so that contributes as well as um, how we're selecting the horses. So definitely check out the racing show. You bet on horse racing or you just want to be able to make more money um, from your betting accounts and be able to withdraw money. So with that being said, hope you guys have a great Friday and check in for those other videos for the bets for the rest of the weekend and of course the rest of the season.